see only a pavement away as an opportunity and a sense of security. They've helped me progress and continue to do so. In the jail, there's loads of things you can do, but I couldn't cook, so I thought, you know what, I may as well learn to cook. I just didn't think there was going to be any job opportunities, but then they pushed me in the right direction. I find hospitality good because you get to meet new people every day. Just getting back to normality, getting a routine again, it just, it's great to be part of something. Um, so I was working in a pub in South London. Everything was going really well in 2019. Um, moved into 2020 and the pandemic started to show its face, which started to interfere with my work. The pub had to shut down a few times during the year, which left me living in the pub on my own. And things kind of got worse until December of 2020 when I got evicted because the pub had to shut down. So I became homeless at the end of 2020. I didn't think I was ever going to be that person. Walking past people who were homeless in my normal everyday life, I kind of didn't ever think I was going to be the person who I was looking at. So becoming homeless and becoming a homeless person was a big shock to me. My future really had no meaning no more. I lost a lot of respect for everything that was going on around me. I don't think I was in a very good state of mind to go to an employer to try and find a job. I mean, the clothes I had were dirty now. I mean, I'd not washed for a few days and I don't think I was in a real good state of mind to be looking for work. The House of St Barnabas was the first charity that I went for. It was a bigger employment programme which covered all aspects of everything to do with human abilities, to our psychology, to anxiety, to everything about making myself mentally prepared for work in the future. So once I graduated from the employment programme from the House of St Barnabas, um, the only a pavement away were a charity that specialised in hospitality. So because I was involved with that working in the pub, I thought that would be a great idea for me to visit them and find out more about what they could do for me. Sometimes when you go in the kitchen, especially in a, in a busy service, it's a bit hectic. Mm -hmm. Friday night, Saturday night, I'm not going to lie, it's not easy to find a smile. But, and then you see Paul. <laughs> And then Paul comes in the, in the image and it's all about being positive, it's all about finding the solution and it's all about not seeing the problem but going for the solution. I don't think I ever would have ended up in Ivy. I walked past the place many times, I don't think I was ever going to be working there. So to be here, I'm very, very happy and very grateful that I've been able to be in a place like this. It's, it's an amazing experience and I love coming to work every day. From becoming homeless and everything falling apart to now that I've been working for the last year and a half, my life has turned around one million percent. I do not believe I'd be here now without only a pavement away. They've helped me believe in myself again. They gave me the encouragement and told me that I was important enough to be able to know that I needed to get a job. My family are proud of me. Everyone that I've been involved with in the charities are proud of me. I'm proud of myself. I've kept this job going now for 15 months and I've never been late. I love my work, I love coming to work and I'm not going to quit ever. I love my life.